Why is candor one of the most important skills an executive can have, particularly a resilience executive? I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath, and I want to talk about that issue, about why candor is invaluable as a resilience leader in your organization. I'm going to give you 10 clear reasons why. One is that candor promotes transparency. It helps promote a culture of openness. It facilitates transparent communication between your employees um, and between yourself and your leadership, your executives in your C-suite and your board. It helps ensure that important information is shared accurately and in a timely manner. The second is that candor builds trust. I think this is particularly important with resilience leadership because your leaders expect you to tell them the hard truth. When leaders are candid about the company's positions and challenges and your future plans, it cultivates trust amongst the team. It forms a sturdy foundation for enduring relationships. More importantly, it lets it be known that you, as the leader of your resilience programs, are going to tell the truth. You're going to be candid about the problems. The third is that it drives improvement. Candid feedback from leaders helps in identifying areas of improvement. It fosters a culture of continuous learning and development. I see this as a catalyst for both individual and organizational growth, because if you don't know what's wrong, you can't get any better. And the more that you become comfortable giving candid, critical feedback to others, the more respect you're going to gain and the more that those other folks will grow. The fourth is that candor encourages authenticity. Candor encourages and promotes authenticity. It inspires leaders and employees alike to express their true thoughts and opinions. That authenticity then paves the way for more meaningful and constructive dialogue. Fifth is that candor accelerates decision making. In a candid environment, facts and opinions are shared freely. It expedites the decision making process and it allows the company to act swiftly in response to opportunities or challenges or crisis situations. The sixth is that candid candor mitigates risks. When you have an open dialogue, candor helps in early identification and mitigation of potential risks, and it's an imperative part of a robust risk management framework. You can build whatever risk framework you want, but if, you're, if your leaders are not going to be honest about what those risks are, you're not going to make any progress there. Number seven is that it enhances crisis management. In times of crisis, candor, candor is indispensable and ensures that all of your stakeholders are well informed and can act cohesively to navigate through turbulent times. Number eight, candor, candor nurtures a positive work environment. It helps contribute to that positive work environment that you're looking for. It helps there to be more engagement and more inclusivity because you're going to be direct. Folks are going to feel valued and heard as you listen to them. Number nine, candor fosters innovation. Open and honest communication encourages innovative thinking. It creates a situation where mistakes are okay. It allows for the sharing of novel ideas, and that's important for you to be able to sustain your competitiveness and growth. And finally, candor reinforces ethical conduct. Candor from your leader sets a strong precedent for ethical conduct throughout your organization, reflecting a commitment to integrity and ethical business practices. It took me a while in my career, probably until my mid-30s, actually, 15 years in with my company by the time I think I got to this point, where I was truly comfortable just speaking my mind and felt like I had earned the ability, the respect, the, the experience to be able to do that. But I can tell you that it was one of the most valuable skills that I provided to my leadership. When they asked questions, I would give a candid answer. And the more that I did so, it was one of the reasons why I advanced as I did in the organization. As a consultant today who helps resilience leaders and builds effective resilience programs, it's one of the things I talk to leaders about the most, about the need to be able to communicate clearly and candidly upwardly to your C-suite, to your executives, to your board. And as a consultant, it's something that I coach our team on all the time. When companies hire us, when clients hire BrightPath, they're looking for us to give them the unvarnished truth. It doesn't mean you have to be rude. It doesn't mean you have to be an asshole about it. But it does mean that 
companies are telling you or asking you, paying us to give our candid, unfiltered advice. After all, we're trying to help them be better. And you should want to do the same for your organization. That's it. That's it for this week's edition of our video. Follow us here on Facebook, YouTube, and elsewhere for more videos and shorts like this. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.